you had 30 seconds and 20 steps to give a good first impression. You'd think they're not seeing what's happening in the group, but they are. Here is important point number one. That girl got sent home. Hey guys, it's me Aura again and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm doing one of the most requested videos that you guys have asked me to do, which is about the Emirates Open Day. How does that day go? Now, this is going to be a little bit of a long one, but stay with me because I'm going to share all the details that I can and give you some great tips about what to do on that day. So. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't and let's get started. By the way guys, what do you think of my new haircut? I am still kind of getting used to it. So before I do a video about the Emirates Open Day, I actually wanted to do a video about what to wear on your Emirates Open Day and how to prepare for it. But I have already packed that suit that I wore in one of the boxes and honey I am not opening that box again so we'll just have to postpone that one a little bit and then jump forward with this one and let's get started with the Emirates open day so guys my Emirates open day and interview was more than six years ago and luckily for you guys I found this email that I wrote to my brother about how my day went i read that email and i refreshed my memory and now i can tell you everything every minute detail about how my emirates open day went in sri lanka the initial stages of the emirates interview process is handled by a local company called delmage and this delmage does some little little programs like familiarization programs to kind of get you ready to start the whole interview process with Emirates but they have no power to influence the outcome of anybody's interview Emirates is the one that's actually doing all the assessing Delmage is just there to just make sure that everything flows in an orderly fashion this can be different from you know country to country some places Emirates might use a local agent or they might just do it all by themselves so my Emirates open day was held in the airport garden hotel in Sri Lanka and there was 200 applicants and we were all given numbers from 1 to 200 and you know when you're in something like this like a group thing and you're thinking okay let me just look at what the other people are doing and do what they do well guess what I was number one I was number one and I have nobody to look at to see if I'm doing it right or wrong and everybody was watching me instead so I was like okay fine let's just roll with it so airport garden hotel 200 applicants and I am first in line there was two recruitment ladies from Emirates that day one was from Spain and the other one was from Ukraine I remember their faces to this day they were so incredibly beautiful but incredibly strict as well I mean you don't want to mess with these ladies they were watching everybody like hawks. So we were in this hall and the two ladies were sat behind two desks. And we were told to get into two lines and face the ladies about 20 steps away from them. And we're standing there with our CVs in hand. And your first task of the day is to simply walk up to the lady and hand your CV to them. You had 30 seconds and 20 steps to give a good first impression so then one of the ladies was doing a presentation and the other one was sat at her desk and rapidly going through all the CVs and dividing them into two piles and then they told us to go wait outside of the hall and then they will announce the numbers of the people that made the first cut and number one you are in well obviously Otherwise, I wouldn't be here, would I? So after that first cut, 
the 200 applicants went down to 70. Yeah, that's a big cut. So now, the 70 applicants were divided into another three groups of about 24-ish people each. And they took one group at a time, and we were all sitting in a very big circle. And those 24 people were then divided into mini groups of four people. And that mini group was given a everyday ordinary object. And we were told to come up with four creative ideas about how to use this object in a different way than what it was made for. For example, the object we got was balloons. So we need to come up with four different ways to use this balloon in a different way than what it was actually intended for. So here we were in our little mini group of four, we were discussing and coming up with good ideas and about 10 minutes later, the ladies asked, okay, now you need to stand up. Your little mini group need to present your ideas to that big group. Now, here is important point number one. While the other mini groups were presenting their ideas to the big group, me and another girl in my little group, we noticed that even though they were a group, they were presenting the ideas as individuals. They were using terms as my idea, me, I, things like that. So we thought, this is a group activity. This is given to you as a group to discuss. Emirates wants to see teamwork. Always remember that. Emirates wants to see teamwork. So why don't we actually present this as a team instead of saying, oh, I came up with this idea. So when our turn came, we stood up and one of the girls introduced all four of us and then we presented our ideas, but we presented it as us, we, our idea, get it? So after everybody was done presenting their ideas and everything, the ladies randomly started announcing numbers for those who made it to the next round. And guess what? All four of us in our little mini group made it to the next round. This is something that you need to remember on your Emirates Open Day. Pay attention to teamwork because cabin crew job is all about working in a team. So now from 70, the number of applicants came down to 45. And now it was time to do the reach test. Yes. If you've seen one of my previous videos, we have to do a reach test of 112 centimeters. The mark is somewhere on the wall. You can stand on your tippy toes, but these four finger tips need to go above that reach line. And yes, one girl did fail, even in her tiptoes. She could not reach that line. So unfortunately, she was eliminated from that point. So it happened. At the same time, they were also looking at tattoos or any other kind of very distinguishable marks if you have on your body. Several of the boys did have tattoos, but again, like I said in that video, as long as it's not visible when you're wearing the uniform, it's fine. Nobody got sent home because of tattoos or anything. And so now the remaining 45, actually no, 44 because that girl got sent home, were divided again into three groups. So now we have these groups of 15 people. Now it was time for role playing game. You have your 15 people and you're sitting in a very big semicircle. And the lady is in the middle and she is monitoring you guys. So each of the group was given different scenarios. And as a group, you need to discuss and come up with a solution for the problem in this scenario. Now, these scenarios, they don't have right or wrong answers, but they do ask why you came to that conclusion as a group. So our scenario was this. We are the manager of a cruise line and we have six overbookings in our very, very last cruise of the season. 
we only have two available spots for eight customers. So the overbooked customers were like a honeymoon couple, a graduation student, a journalist, a star customer, like frequent customer. I can't really remember all of it, but yeah. So you have this list of different types of customers. As a group, we need to discuss and choose who are the two people that we're going to give those two last spots for and why we selected those specific people. So here we were, all 15 of us sitting in a semicircle, and I was kind of in the far corner <laughs> over there. Discussions began, and as soon as it started, I knew that this is just not going well. So the center of that semicircle was a few boys, and they just immediately started giving out opinions. They were quite loud, and they were cutting across people people do not cut across someone else when they're talking especially in an interview no big no no like i said emirates is looking for individuals that can also work in a team if somebody is jumping in front cutting across other people Honestly, Emirates is not going to want somebody like that because you need to be able to respect and listen to your colleagues. Those boys in the middle, they were being loud and trying to shove their opinions first and they were just talking to like a few girls in the middle but me in my far corner, they completely cut me out. They didn't give any attention to me at all. And I was getting so frustrated at this point because I hardly got to say anything and I didn't want to be disrespectful like they were and cutting across, hey, no, listen to me, no, you can't do that. So all I could do is just show the recruitment lady that I am listening. I am listening to my group, I am agreeing. I just had to sit there and be like, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. I agree, I agree that is literally all i could do like i told you before this lady is scrutinizing and watching every move and observing how you behave as a group and i can see from the corner of my eye that she is watching me and she is seeing that i am not getting a chance to speak and share my opinion in the group she is watching you so we had 15 minutes to discuss and then after 15 minutes she told us to tell our decision and then randomly she just called out like a few people and asked if they agree or what their decisions is and that's where she suddenly turned to me and she was like what about you do you share the same opinion do you think that it was the right decision to ditch the honeymoon couple and i was like Honestly, I have no idea why we ditched the honeymoon couple. I had no clue what's going on in that discussion because they never let me take part of it. But I made some stuff up and I was like, yeah, yeah, we as a group came to that decision. I completely agree to what my colleagues are saying. She definitely noticed that I didn't get a chance to talk at all in this discussion and that's why she called me out and she wanted to know my opinion and she asked everybody do you think you got a fair chance in this group discussion and I was like yeah okay that's great I thought I was a goner for real. So yeah, that was the end of the role playing group activity. So after that, they made the third cut. And after the third cut, there was only 24 of us left. So now, us 24 were given a English test. What I understand is, if you're coming from a non-native English speaking country, then there will be a English test done by Emirates. But if you're coming from a native English country, like, you know, England or Australia, there is no English test. Now, I don't remember this English test to be particularly hard or anything. 
but still six people did fail it. So six people failed and then only 18 of us went through. So after that, it was pretty much a wrap up of the day. We were, you know, filling out some documents and stuff and they gave us a online psychometrics test to do when you go home, which is really easy. It's, it's not anything right or wrong answer. It's just like a personality test to see what your personality is like. But don't lie. Don't try to be a fake person. Just put in what you think is your real opinion and they will kind of evaluate that with what you say on your final interview this day is a very long long day i think we started off at like nine in the morning and it went up to like seven in the night it is a very very long day so please be prepared and that's why i want to do that other video about what to wear on your open day and how to prepare for it which i will do don't worry, I will definitely do it. So yeah, that is the end of the open day of the Emirates recruitment process. Next up is the second day, the Emirates interview day, the final interview, the one-on-one -on -one discussion. And that part I'm going to leave for another video because it is also, again, quite long but yes yeah, so this is how my open day went we started off with 200 applicants and we were down to 18 18 of us were going through to the final interview i guess it is a little bit of a tough recruitment process but always remember the important things guys please be respectful on your open day respect your colleagues the other applicants that are in the process don't be loud don't cut across somebody when they're speaking always show that you're listening to them and valuing their opinions when you're presenting ideas present it as a group not as an individual remember why is emirates doing group activities in their open day it's because they want to see how you interact with others if you're able to work as a part of the group because again i'm telling you cabin crew job is a team effort you can't take care of 400 people on a plane by yourself it is a collective effort and that's exactly why they do these role playing and group activity on their open day otherwise they could have just done like a one-on-one -on -one interview and be like okay thank you bye bye no thinking out of the box as well as to work in a team is two very important qualities that cabin crew should have and that's exactly what emirates are looking for and that's what they're doing through their open days so please remember and keep that in mind when you're going for your open day well i feel like i relived that open day it makes me want to rejoin again anyway i'm just glad that i found that email with all the little details so that i managed to tell you guys exactly how my open day went because otherwise i would have forgotten okay so so many of you guys requested this video came to me and said please please tell me how your open day was like what happened how many people were there what are the activities everything so that's why i made this video today for you guys and i will cover the next part the emirates interview the final interview on another day in another video so if you guys have any other questions or any other requests for videos please leave them in the comments down below and i will get back to you with answers and i will add those requests to my long list of videos that i need to make please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you again in another episode of aura in the clouds